Hey everybody, this is Stratagem, and today we're gonna watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 9 Episode 17, The Summer Sun Setback. So it seems like it's once again time for the Summer Sun Celebration, and Summer Sun Setback kinda makes me think that maybe Twilight is going to try to perform the uh, ceremonies, raising the sun and all that, but she's having a setback here, things are not exactly working as intended. And here we go. Roger. And that's, that's pretty much the thumbnail, so. Where are you going? Since you three were unable to retrieve my bewitching people, yeah. we need another source of great magical power to defeat Twilight and her friends. Do we now? <laughs> Cozy is not impressed. He's gone! <laughs> I don't trust him. None of us do. Which Obviously. is double crossing him with his own bell will be so satisfying. Mm. If we can figure out how to use it. Hmm. <laughs> Twilight Sparkle may be the worst, but she does know stuff. She once said the archives in Canterlot has a restricted area. Celestia yeah. and Luna love to hoard information for themselves. If there's an answer, it's there. Gee, I wonder who could I go there. Turn to Canterlot? I like the sound of that. Oh my gosh, round trip! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, really? We're going there. And yes, as you can maybe probably tell, this is the uh, Chinese early release stream thingy. So we're getting subtitles for the opening opening song here. Which is fascinating, considering that we have the uh, English dub here still, so... Whatever. This... okay, this was a pretty long black screen here. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, comic. We know you're busy planning the summer sun celebration yeah. as we requested, but... But? Oh. Things seem uh, calmer Michael Fogel. than we would have expected. No complaints here. <laughs> With the exception of the odd trivia night, I've made a lot of progress since trivia. the royal swanifying ceremony. Reference to last episode. You may not know this about me, but I occasionally freak out. Really? Uh, that was a joke. I wanted to show you with the summer sun celebration how much I've improved. So I focused on delegating and trusting others. It's been great. Good. That's actually what we came to talk to you about. This may be the last Summer Sun celebration you'll need to plan. Did I do something wrong? Yes, of course not. everything. It's just that the celebration has always been about us. My defeat of Luna. And thanks to you and your friends, yeah, my the whole Nightman Moon now thing. Now leaving, we don't see a need for the holiday any longer. Now that you're... My sister and I have decided Typical government. to retire is upon us. Let's just remove holidays. To lead Equestria. Wait, really? So let this be the last summer sun celebration as Equestria leaves behind the old to embrace the new. Y you are abdicating now. Also, you could still raise the sun and the moon from wherever you are. Something like this could definitely send you into full freaky outie mode. Yeah. I'm actually fine. But if this is going to be the last Summer Sun celebration, I want to make sure it's the best celebration ever. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. Please don't give us more work. <laughs> so even though everything was done, I thought of a few last minute changes I could use your help with. Yeah. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> oh, the end of a beloved holiday. Last minute changes to a celebration. Hey, this good. Positively chaotic. Why do you oh, exist? I've known Celestia and Luna longer than any of you. Yes. I terrorized them. They turned me into stone. Yeah, please stay that if way. If this is the last Summer Sun situation, I simply can't miss it. Well, I see I've arrived just in time for the... Twilight gives her friends an impossibly <laughs> long and overly detailed list of predicament. Wonderful. Like Sun Draconiquis isn't the know-it-all he thinks he is. You don't get a cut. What? We were kind of with Discord on this one. No more crazy lists. No more freaking out. With your help, I know we've got this. Yeah. Oh, character growth is so boring. Do I at least No wonder you like Fluttershy. There. 
Now I need to go rewrite my speech. But if you all look at your So, this go. Your mission is don't fuck things up. Well, that was quick. Why are so many ponies up in the middle of the night? It's that silly sun holiday. How many holidays do you ponies have? No matter. Getting one less now. Are you sure about that? Ah, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> That's coming back. Oh, those are new. But even so. Yeah. Exactly that. The door Transfer. is stuck. Have to head inside. Open up. Bump. Right, of course. <laughs> yeah, yours doesn't work since it's fake. Yours get glitchy too. More medallions, more problems. Am I right? <laughs> They've increased security into the castle. This is going to be more challenging than I thought. Why are you playing chess? I mean, go popping us all cozy, over yes. Please. Time is of the essence. Let's go team! <laughs> it's the same outfit the, uh, the students wore. Pinky, you and I are giving Brayburn and the Appalachian Pony some adjustments to the menu. Fluttershy and I are meeting the Pegasi from Cloudsdale to give them changes to the weather. Spike, we're going to update the Flaming Sky Firework Unicorn Troop with Twilight's new vision. And I'm supposed to... Don't fuck things sure up. Make sure Discord doesn't do anything discord <laughs> Well, that's annoyingly specific. I wonder why. Increased security on a crowded holiday with Twilight and her friends bumbling around? This is impossible. Yeah. No, no. this is perfect. We need a distraction, and those ridiculous ponies just gave it to us. Yes, now, that's gonna be... As I tell you. That's gonna work out very well together. Guard's gonna be busy with the, um, with the holiday shenanigans. More people. More security. And yeah. Hey, Reverend. But I think we can whip up these new cookies Twilight wants before sunrise. I haven't seen you in forever. We can handle some last-minute bacon, Brayburn. It's y'all. We brought plenty for the celebration. If she keeps testing, Binky, we please. might be in trouble. <laughs> but I see a suspicious-looking cookie! <laughs> yeah, that is going to you okay? become a problem over time weak all of a sudden is some pony back there yeah this what is it every pony get away from the food till we figure out what's going on yeah Derek, uh, what, which part of subtle do you not understand? Just what's on that little card. No big deal. No big deal. It's a much more aggressive weather pattern than what was originally ordered. This, this is very irregular. We'll need to. No. Oh dear, that tie. Wait, we. Calm your tits, man. Let it out slowly. Tell the princess we will do our best. We're sure you're doing an excellent job. Oh, yeah, totally. You're not going to panic and screw it up at all. <laughs> I, I, I'm not built for high pressure situations. Golly, sounds like you need some. Hey, Cozy. Who are you? Some pony who's organized enough to handle the small stuff so you can focus on the big picture. The big? Yes! That yeah. <laughs> kind of weather has to be handled delicately. Good thing I'm here. I'll take care of everything. Yeah, I'm worried that you will. Yeah, uh, God is probably not that well known everywhere. And they all think they're in hell. I said you, Chrysalis, or do you always look like that? The more 
challenging the better. We aim to astound. Now, if you don't mind, we do have a new routine to prepare. I mean, it's not Chrysalis, but Horns great design. Ready. Really cool design there. Oh, hey, it's a dune bug again. Very impressive. Thank you. Unfortunately, we have no room for any pony else at this time. <clears throat> I'm sorry. A crackle curse hat. And I oh. don't want to join your silly little troop. Official name. Pardon me. I meant no offense. <laughs> it just seems a pity for unicorns to waste their talents on something so inconsequential. Unicorns wield magic. We are the most powerful ponies in the land. Don't you ever feel you're destined for more than performances? <laughs> it's Let's uh, bring in some racism, why not? Everything's gonna go to hell. Outstanding job. We've all done an outstanding job. And what about me? You'll be happy to know that I have been watching myself all night and I have yet to do one discordy thing. Now that truly is amazing. Twilight, oh, hey. I know you had you too. Uh, difficulties using the amulet to raise the sun and moon. We thought perhaps a practice session before the festivities might be in order. Yes. Yeah. A good idea. Probably for the best. So much. This is gonna end in such a disaster. Sure proud of her. Yeah, she finally realizes things will turn out fine, even when she isn't micromanaging every little detail. Brayburn, what's wrong? Earth ponies, sick, food missing, can't bake anything. Something is wrong with the weather. Storms, oh, hurricanes, you look frazzled. It's a disaster out there! Rarity! Please inform Her Highness that we will not be performing. A simple fireworks show is beneath us! We are better than that! What the? Everything was fine a minute ago! Yeah! Apparently and then you did things. <laughs> it's total chaos out there! <laughs> Look at me! What are we gonna do? Do about what? Nothing. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I forgot these. You guys okay? Twilight. Do they look sorry, okay? But, but uh, we don't know what to do now that everything's all ready. <laughs> I guess I was too organized. I'll try to come up with a few last minute errands for you before sunrise. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Explain to me why we didn't tell her the truth. Twilight, because we never do. They would. They would end the episode too early. It could be devastating. Oh, she would be so upset. She'll totally freak out. Well, what do y'all suggest? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's just fix it up before she notices. No lying necessary. Yeah. We need a miracle. We have a miracle, don't we? Um. Yes. I suppose I could fix everything. But isn't the real miracle here the miracle of teamwork and character growth? No, it isn't. Go fix oh, the shit. Come <laughs> on! Discord is right. Twilight needs us. Whatever happened, we can fix this. What well, you happen? better go about this quickly. Best road trip Yeah, I'm kind of worried about uh, Tarek actually getting stronger. If he doesn't lose the power by the end of the episode, that's gonna be become a problem down the road. Pinky, you're not a doctor. Actual doctor, I would have no idea what's wrong. There's gotta be a reason. Something got him all sick. Maybe the food. I ate the food too. Does that mean I'm sick? Oh no! You are very sick, Pinky, but uh, not like that. You keep food in your ears. That is not fine. But you are no match for the geese. Hey, the boat. Up any minute. 
Yeah. Or not. What the kind of weather that you bring here? Not here. The archives are in a different part of the castle. <laughs> the goose is now loose. Again. We've set our sights higher. Higher than perfection? Higher than putting on a silly little show for the other ponies. But you were so excited before. What changed? Is one of your chrysalis? Yeah. <laughs> Why well, was Cozy cracking that uh, lock? Yes, Discord. Could have just tear a cat for the chaos. destroy the door. Here we go. What is Rainbow Dash doing? Nothing. Pinky, is this soup? Yes, I was really hungry. No pony understands wanting to take pride in your work more than I do. You could do more with your magic than make frilly dresses. No, actually, she can't. <laughs> Twilight, uh, yeah, Rarity, I'm sorry. Princess, I beg your forgiveness. It's entirely my fault. What is? That is. That. Oh, um, just a slight hiccup in the weather. <laughs> yeah. Applejack, what is going on? I told y'all this was a bad idea, but no pony ever listens to me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Everything was going fine. Until it totally wasn't. We tried yeah. to fix it ourselves. Why didn't you tell me? Because. You freak out. And you thought not telling me everything was a total disaster would avoid a freak out? When yes. You say it like that? It sounds like a really bad plan. Would have been good yeah, if they managed to fix it. I know how I used to react, but I really have changed. Panicking won't solve anything. I am so high on value right now. As long as we handle them together. Spoken like a true leader. How can we help? I love a good to-do list. So tell me exactly what happened so we can figure out exactly what to do to fix it. I will probably be able to fix it, but... Uh, there is still the whole thing with uh, the villains getting into the archives. And probably figuring out what to do with the bell. Or whatever. Um, that was a weird cloud. You will do the magic show. Or I will blast you to the moon myself. Um, yeah, that, that looks promising. <laughs> That's one way to do it. That's some nice background music there. Nice effect there. And unsafe fireworks provided by Trixie. No, not bought in the back alley this time. Less holidays for you. There is more work. More important to celebrate. There are two ponies who have watched over us night and day for as long as we can remember. We will no longer commemorate their battle or their reunion. 
Instead, we will take this day to celebrate how much they mean to all of us. From this day forward, today will be known as the Festival of the Two Sisters. We don't know what to say. So we do keep a holiday. Yeah, well, last week she was kind of freaking out about a trivia quiz. You know, it really does seem like you just might be ready for whatever comes next, Your Majesty. Or not. So, did you find what you're looking for? Once again, I've found success <laughs> where you all find failure. I have located what I sought, and tomorrow I will set out to retrieve it. When I return, Equestria will finally be ours for the taking. What did you find? Oh, stop pouting. You knew you couldn't stay that buff. You had to return all the life forms ah. to those Earth ponies so Grogar doesn't suspect anything. Okay. I don't have to like it. Well, I don't like that we worked so hard to destroy their party and they still pulled it off. But you don't see me complaining. Our goal wasn't to destroy, it was to distract. And now we have exactly what we need. And no time to waste. We have to master the bell before Grogar returns. We've managed to stay one step ahead of every pony so far. You know, it really was super easy to get all those Earth ponies and Pegasi and unicorns to turn on each other. Oh it was, dear. wasn't it? Now that is something to think about. Yeah. I, I kind of had this in the back of my head here. Oh dear, that's a lot of voice actors. Yeah, um, that could indeed be something they could uh, try to pull off again later in the season. Well, later in the season, there aren't that many, that many episodes uh, left. All right, um, this was yeah, this was once again a pretty fun episode. Once again, an episode that furthers the storyline. Let's get the complaints out of the way first. So um, yeah, Twilight didn't freak out about things and uh, that is probably a good thing considering that she's gonna be the ruler of all Equestria soon. But yeah, it comes immediately after an episode where she was freaking out over a inconsequential trivia game in Ponyville. So um, that is a massive 180. That's probably not a criticism against this episode though, and more against last week's episode and some of the weird episode choices for this season. Some of the filler episodes aren't just feeling like filler episodes, but like filler episodes that should have happened a lot earlier. But that aside, this episode was really pretty good. Good to see the villains again and seeing how Tyrek, Cosiglos and Chrysalis's plan against uh, Groger is starting to take form. Good thing they thought about uh, Tyrek giving back his magic, because yeah, Groger would have probably have noticed if uh, Tyrek was suddenly just a lot bigger and stronger. And uh, yeah, also good for the others because, uh, well, once he gets strong enough he could easily steal Chrysalis's magic and after that maybe even Grogar's. Which is why I say that Tyrek is the most dangerous of these ones for Groger himself. So if Groger ever decides to get rid of them, he will probably start with Tyrek, seeing how he's the biggest threat. But once again I'm getting sidetracked, I wanted to talk about this episode at hand. Um, yeah, good planning there by the villains and by the heroes alike. Twilight was smart enough to delegate things and the main six delegated as well, didn't try to do everything themselves. As for them hiding the problems from Twilight, I see why they did it. And honestly, I do understand. Twilight still has that penchant for freaking out. Her staying so calm this time was kind of surprising. 
I regrettably have to agree with this court here, I expected her to go completely bananas, but um, she didn't. So yeah, the main six were kind of wrong with their worries there, but I can totally understand why they felt that way. And truth be told, it could have been just minor problems that they could have fixed themselves. Uh, you never know. No need to escalate everything and and worry Twilight, because um, even if she's not freaking out, she probably has, well, different things to do. You know, training with the magic locket thingy to raise the sun and moon and do whatever the hell kind of organization she is doing. So yeah, while wrong in the end, I don't really blame the main six for their decision here. It was definitely an understandable decision, albeit a wrong one. The villains kinda played to their strength, and the whole idea with the kinda sowing discord between the different tribes, the three pony races, pretty good idea. I mean the whole foundation of Equestria is the three tribes working together, so trying to undermine that, it really makes a lot of sense. So um, yeah. And now that I think about it, of course a rift between the pony races, maybe we are going to see Windigos again? That would be something. I mean, let's let's just let's let's go all out. Let's bring everything back. We're already bringing so much, so many characters, so many concepts uh, and ideas and uh, things from earlier seasons are all coming back. So um, yeah, why not? Why not them too? Let's throw in everything, see what sticks. I don't know. But yeah, to bring this to an end, really a pretty good episode. Definitely one of the better ones this season. I'm glad to see that when season 9 delivers, it really does deliver. So um, yeah. Anyway, if you did like the reaction, please consider leaving a like on the video and or subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter, DeviantArt and Patreon. And as always, I have been Stratagem, thanks for watching and see ya next time.